Welcome to Total Carp TV, where this time around I'm going to show you how to splice lead core. Now there's a lot of ready tied lead core leaders on the market and they're very popular and most of them are really good quality. But learning to splice your own lead core allows you to tailor the leaders to exactly what you want. Many people are afraid to give it a try but it's a very simple process. So I'll show you how it's done right now. All you're going to need is the lead core you want to use and a splicing needle which is essentially just a very thin gate latch baiting needle. The first stage is to pull a few inches of lead core off the spool and expose the inner lead wire. Go for about three inches or so, that'll be plenty, and just snap the wire off. Easy enough to do with your fingers, it's quite soft and you can discard that in the bin. What that now leaves you with is your standard lead core with just a supple braid on the end where you've removed the inner. Now, take your splicing needle and open the small latch on the end, like so, and insert the needle into the lead core at the end of the lead wire. Then simply push the needle up through the middle of the lead core. Obviously the section where you've removed the lead wire so the center's now hollow. So thread your splicing needle through the lead core for about a third of an inch and simply push the needle out of the side of the lead core. So what we have now is your lead core with the wire intact followed by your splicing needle threaded up a third of an inch of the lead, lead core where you've removed the wire and then the rest of the lead core about two and a half inches where the wire has been removed. Now what you need to do is take the end of your lead core and just catch it in the end the end of your splicing needle by folding the gate latch over like so. And then it's simply a case of gently teasing that end of the leg core back through the bit that you've spliced. Like so it might take a little bit of teasing, but it, it will go. And be very careful because if you go too like a bull in a china shop, you'll end up closing the loop up and you'll have to start all over again. So there you have it, as you pull the leg core through, the end will come back out like so. And what you've done there is form a loop in the end of your leg core. Now all you have to do, take a sharp pair of scissors, trim off the tag end as close to the leg core as you can. And then as you pull the whole knot tight, the little bit that's left sticking out will retract inside the leg core leaving a very streamlined and very secure loop. Of course you can splice a loop into both ends of your leg core leader, but for those of you that would like to splice um, a swivel onto your leader, here's how to do it. With the loop in one end, pull off the length of the leader that you want to use, trim it from the spool, and then follow exactly the same process again, so exposing around three inches of the leg core wire. Simply remove that. Next, take your splicing needle and again insert it into the center of the leg core where you've removed the wire from. Slide it up about a third of an inch and then out through the side of the leg core. Now, if you want to splice a swivel in place, take your swivel and pass the swivel onto the tag end like so, and then again, just pull the end of the leg core back through itself to secure that swivel in place. There we go. And at this stage, you can either leave it on a small loop or by simply pulling the tag end, just tighten that down so it's tightly gripped. Again, just take your scissors, 
trim off the tag end, and there's your leg core leader with a swivel at one end and a loop at the other. So give it a try and make your own leg core leaders. I'll see you next time.